Now, like, it's different in practice mode. But if you're gonna practice it, just warp to the spatula and you have to walk forward, like, just buffer a forward input just so you can go as quickly as possible. As long as you're here as quickly as possible, you should be fine to make it. It's generally the same idea. There's some minor differences, so. So I just did there. I didn't use my bungee for the first one that I hit. I just kind of rode into it, let myself come back up, and then hit the other two by using one bungee jump. So I used one jump on this on this actual first bungee. Okay, so <clears throat> for this first bungee, I only used one jump, but I hit all three tiki's. That's the key concept. And for the next bungee, we're going to be using another concept that gives us infinite bungee jumps. So if you get caught under an object when you're bungeeing, you get an extra jump. And like it turns into infinite jumps as long as you don't hit the bottom of the stage when you bungee. So we have to do this as quickly as possible. Now, in an actual run, you have to wait a little bit to actually make it work. The C needle part for this particular bungee to make the cycle be on point. But in practice mode, you don't have to wait. You can just jump. See the strat? So you can watch that again. For the first two, I hit them without doing the bungee jump. For the third, I used the bungee jump and I got caught under the fourth one. And then I came back around and hit the fourth one. Now, when you're practicing, you have to get the wheel. Pretend Even if your wheel isn't here in your practice file, you still have to get it. Like, pretend you're getting it to make the cycle be on point. Also, you can't really take time to go backward there. You have to be moving forward, like, the whole time for this to work. So, with the Chuck, that just, like, he's kind of guarding that one area. You have to jump to the side without really giving in. You can't really go backward. You can't just pause and stall. You have to keep moving. So it's pretty much a reset if you get hit, which is why I reset there sometimes, because oftentimes, like when you jump out of the way, when you fool his AI and you still jump out of the way, sometimes you'll have like a, a weird shot that still hits you, even though it was like supposed to be way off. Because sometimes their AI just like doesn't even track you. It just throws a random missile and sometimes it hits you. So now you should be good for this final bungee. And if you set it up correctly, which I probably didn't because it's practice mode and the tiki's are a little bit different. You, when you go straight down, you should be able to get a bunch of them in a straight line, get caught under one of them, and then hit the final tiki. Okay, I actually did it. That's how you do it correctly. So you can watch that again, but like the key to all these bungees is like don't hit the thunder tiki you have to brush by it. Never get hit by a Thunder Tiki or you're screwed. For any of the bungees that there are Thunder Tikis, if you get hit, the cycle gets fucked. It's pretty much, for me, it's an automatic reset if I mess up bungees. Because if you mess up one, the whole cycle's screwed. And also for this guy, there are like a bunch of different positions he could be in, but if you think the position that he's in won't allow you to be able to hit the button and him at the same time, you can just let him hit you forward, like a damage boost, and then come back and hit this. Sacrifice the shiny objects just to not lose time by getting hit by that guy and not being able to hit the button quickly. So if he's close to you, damage boost. If he's over the button or around the button, try to hit him and the button at the same time. Also, if you're pro and you get lucky, sometimes you can hit the button and then get damage boosted after you hit the button. That's like the super pro strat. So I don't really go for that though, because again, like, I wouldn't want to risk missing it, and plus, I don't get lucky enough to be able to do that very often. Also, there are audio cues. Like, if you if you watch my PV videos, or my gold splits for Sea Needle, like, especially the recent ones when I've, I've optimized it more, because this is my Sea Needle route. I mean, I adopted the first two bungees from Fuff, but the final one is pretty much my thing. I optimized the final bungee to make it consistent and really, really fast. So that's why I get really good sea needles, because I do these strats that I kind of modified off of what Fuff used to do. Kind of like how I modified the Robo Patrick manipulation off of what Cole used to do. I just optimized all these strats to make them like super, super fast and consistent. So you should be able to get fast bungees now.
Also, don't forget the wheel. Don't fucking forget the wheel. Don't do that shit. Alright, that's my final word on this topic.